fish, let it off the hook. If you catch a baby fish, let it off the hook. Fish, hook. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the creek. Gently down the creek. If you see a baby mouse, don't forget to squeak. If you see a baby mouse, don't forget to squeak. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? 
old McDonald's stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who, me? Yes, you. Gordon B. Then who? Not me. Here's a clue for you. From the cookie jar. Who? Me? Yes, you. Couldn't be. Then who? Not me. Here's a clue for you.
Baby Joy Joy. Yeah. <laughs> there once was a girl. We'll call her Little Red. She wore a red cape with a hood on her head. Little Red loved her mom, and she tried to be good. She always did whatever mom said she should. Well, almost always. One day, her mom said, Take this basket, hun. It's got cookies, cake, veggies, fruit, and buns. Go to Grandma's house and knock on the door. She's waiting for this food. But there's one thing more. Never leave the path. No, don't ever stray. It's ever so important. Don't go another way. The path keeps you safe. It makes the way clear. So stay on the path and don't leave, my dear. <laughs> Little Red took the basket, then put on her hood. She peeked at the yummy food. It sure looked good. She saw a woodcutter sharpening his ax. And was that her own mother playing the sax? Nah. She scootered onto Grandma's. She thought, I'm nearly there. But then she heard a sound ringing through the air. A little way off the path, she heard a long, low growl. She started off the path, but could picture Mother's scowl. What was in shadows just off the trail? Red left her scooter. She could just glimpse a tail. She walked clear off the path to where she could see a big, bad wolf leaning up against a tree. The wolf had sharp teeth, big ears, and big eyes, pointy claws, fluffy tail. What a surprise. Dear child, asked the wolf, what is in the hamper? Where are you taking it? Who will you pamper? Oh, you mean this basket? Asked Little Red. I'm taking it to Grandma. Her place is just ahead. Little Red retrieved her scooter and pushed up her hood. She wondered what would happen since she hadn't been good. Little Red scootered on, but little did she know, the wolf ran up ahead to Grandma's abode. The wolf ran in and locked Grandma in the shed, threw on Grandma's nightgown, and climbed into her bed. Soon Little Red knocked. The wolf called through the door. Come in, my dear. Red stepped onto the floor. She looked at her grandma lying down in bed. Grandma didn't look right. So Little Red said, My oh my, Grandma, you've got such big ears. Yes, replied the wolf. They help me to hear. Grandma, dear Grandma, you have such large eyes. Yes, I can see you better, the wolf improvised. But Grandma, you know, your teeth look kind of funny. They're nice and sharp for eating. They help me fill my tummy. Now give me that basket. I want it all, you know. Red turned and she ran and she cried, Wolf, no! This basket's for my Grandma. What did you do to her? Please tell me where I'll find her, you big meanie with fur. Just then, in walked Grandma and a man in a jacket. The woodcutter who'd happened to hear all the racket. Ah! This wolf is just hungry. He wants some food to eat. We've got plenty. Good food and lots of treats. When they had finished, Grandma turned to Little Red. Sweetheart, do you remember what your mother said? Never leave the path. No, don't ever stray. wolf was rather nice, but not all are so friendly, so heed your mom's advice. Stay safe on the path, and there's 
one thing more. If you hadn't left the path, I'd still have a shed door. Sorry, Grandma, Wolf said. I was just so hungry. I'll work for the woodcutter and give you the money. I don't need money, Wolf. Just help clean up this mess. And I think you're forgetting to give me back my dress. The <laughs> end. Baby Joy Joy! Yeah.
Big Joy Joy. Yeah.
A silly skeleton. A howling werewolf. Ow, ow, ooh. Mm. A cackling witch. <laughs> a smiling jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> and colorful candy. Who's the ghost? <laughs> Baby Joy Joy! Yeah!
Pippin, pig went to town for some brick or some stone. Saw a bale of straw and said, I'll use that for my home. Straw is cheap and I'll save a lot of money. I'll buy some yummy pie. Apple cherry honey. Apple cherry honey. Pig went to town for some brick or some stone He saw some twigs and thought, yeah, I'll use that for my home Twigs are cheap and I'll save a bit of money And buy yummy candy like taffy and gummies Taffy, gummies, maybe chocolate Perry, pig went to town for some brick or some stone Saw straw and twigs, hey, I could build a cheap home I could use straw and save a lot of money Buy some yummy pie, apple cherry honey Apple cherry Thought I could use sticks and save a bit of money And buy some yummy candy like taffy and gummies Then a voice in his head in an undeniable tone said Build your house right, make sure it's brick or stone Make sure it's brick or stone Make sure it's brick or stone Pippin finished her house, big house made of straw There came a big bad wolf who opened his jaw and said Little pig, little pig, let me in Blew her house right down Pippin hid under the straw And the wolf looked around He could smell that little piggy She started running But she left behind her yummy pie Apple cherry honey Yummy The wolf began to laugh How's the straw? How funny Ate up all her yummy pie Apple cherry honey Pippin ran to Pete's house, his house was made of twigs They hoped the twigs were strong enough to save the little pigs The big bad wolf's claws were tap, tap, tap The wolf smiled thinking he had the piggies trapped Little pig, little pig, let me in Not by the hair of that chimmy chin chin That'll huff, that'll puff, and it'll move your house in Danny puffed, the twigs fell to the ground The pigs ran to Perry's where they'd be safe and sound The wolf could smell those little piggies, they started running They left behind their candy, taffy and gummies Taffy, gummies, maybe chocolate <laughs> The wolf laughed uh, How some twigs? How funny! So they could buy some sweets and save a bit of money? <laughs> but Perry's house was built right bricks and stone He took Mama's advice and built a sturdy home The wolf was tired of games and craved a BLT This house was gonna fall and he catch those piggies Yummy Little pig, little pig, let me in Danny puffed, but to his dismay, the house didn't fall. The pigs cried hooray. The wolf howled a fit and he ran away. His piggy lunch would have to come another day. Sorry. Pippin Pig said to Pete, How could we be so dumb? Should've built out a brick and listened to Mom. Then they wrapped their little hooves around their brother Perry, who had saved their lives from the wolf so scary. Oh, Treats and sweets won't ever compare to what they learned that day Though it gave them a scare If you make a plan, make sure to do it right And listen to your mom, because she's always right Mom's always right Baby Joy Joy Yeah Shoulders, knees, and toes
Oi. Yeah.